Good morning everybody. Welcome back to our channel. Where are we going next? My name is Andrew. Today we have another resort tour for you. This time we're in Acumal in Mexico, which is just south of Playa del Carmen and a bit north of Tulum. And we are at the Gran Bahia Principe Tulum. So this is it here in front of me. Um, as you can see, just out in front, they still have Merry Christmas because it is a week and a little bit after Christmas. So this area out front is the area where you get dropped off at the resort and uh, if any tour buses came to pick you up for an excursion, just like the one in front of us right here, they would swing in here, grab you, so you can go on your adventure. Also, this is where some of the trams will come, or the trains, to take you to um, other Bahia Principe um, hotels on the property. So without further ado, I know you guys want to see what this resort is all about and what it's like. So let's head inside. So as soon as you kind of head into this resort, right away you find that it's almost decorated like, like the major archaeological site right around here called Tulum. And this is called Bahia Principe Tulum. And this looks like, almost like a Mayan archaeological site with some of the cool stonework. And we'll take a look inside and you'll see that in a second too. But before you, uh, before we go inside, they are taking quite a few number of precautions for COVID-19. So as you come in, your luggage will be decontaminated once it comes off of the, the um, shuttle bus or the transportation. And they use these little foggers right here to fog down the luggage with a disinfectant. And then, it, like always, we try to find the hotel plaque and here it is for this one, looking great. Bahia Principe Grand Tulum, five stars. And there's the Bahia Principe sun. Okay, so we're gonna head inside now. And uh, just to let you know, to come into the lobby, you do have to wear a mask, so we put our masks on. And uh, Mona's with me today. She got up early and she's out on the tour with us. Okay, so uh, just to show you guys, if you wanted to kind of do a screenshot of this, this is the map of the resort. So we're right here up in this spot. And just like a little bit of a lay of the land to show you guys where we're gonna be. This will be the sort of uh, main buffet over this way, the main lobby, the lobby bar. Over here is a pool where they have the, one of the restaurants and a food truck. And over this way is another pool where they have some other restaurants and a pool there too. And then obviously this is the sea and the beach area which we'll take a look at in a few minutes. And as you enter, there's a uh, hand sanitizer and also just letting you know what the precautions are for being in the resort. So we'll get some hand sanitizer here and then they have these little foot mats to kind of wipe off any extra contaminants here before you enter the, re the resort. Another thing they also have on the ground is these little markers just kind of helping you kind of direct traffic so they have like enter and exit markers which you'll probably see a little further along as we go through here. Now here's another one here that's on the ground indicating kind of to keep social distance to the people in front of you and you usually have those in places where you'd line up like a buffet but Let's take a look at this awesome resort. This lobby is so, so cool. So we can see like a nice sitting area over there, decorated, looking like a Mayan temple almost, with the stonework. And look over this way, we have our check-in desk at the front here, and concierge to help you with anything during your stay. Over here, lots more seating area. I don't know if you can hear in the background, but there's still some Christmas music playing. <laughs> it's almost time to shut that off, but I think people still enjoy seeing Christmas because uh, it's not really common you see Christmas at a resort. It's usually just, just through the holidays. So, so it is really neat to see. And again, just at the back of the lobby here, similar to the front where we just have a few more seating areas all throughout the resort, all throughout the lobby over here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna loop in this way here. So, just to, so if you're walking in the hotel, the right side of the resort, right side of the lobby. We have the uh, Privilege Club just over here. So if you wanted to kind of upgrade your stay to the Bahia Principe Privilege Club, this is where you would do that just in here. And that gives you some extra perks. And then in here, it looks like there's a jewelry store here, which is not open at the moment. And then if we carry on down here, we'll come into the, uh, the lobby bar. So this is a big, big area, lots and lots of open space in here lots of tables and stuff to sit down and listen to some music you can hear some in the background perhaps lots of seating this way and just beyond this that's where like the villas start so the resort here is absolutely massive so there's tons and tons of villas um, and I'll kind of I'll show you guys on a map in a few minutes too, like what the resort sort of looks like in the villas and where they're located there's a stage up here and then just over to the far side here that's where the actual lobby bar is where you can go up and grab a drink and typically while you're sitting in these spaces here the hotel staff will uh, help you find a find a drink and bring one for you 
they actually won't find it for you. They'll, they know exactly where it is. <laughs> but um, they'll go up and grab a, a drink for you at the bar and bring it to you at your seat. Full service. This is the lobby back here. I feel like I lost Mona. She, I can't see, oh, I see her. She's actually walking right up there, taking some pictures for the gram in the main pool area there. So this is the lobby where we came from. This is the lobby bar. Swinging around this way, this is where the pool area is, which we'll come check out in just a few minutes. So one thing before we leave the uh, lobby bar area, they have this little sign here saying if, you know, if you're leaving this area, please change one of your glass glasses or crystal glasses for a reusable cup. And they probably have some stacked here typically during the evening or during the day. And then you can leave your glassware here. Okay, so coming down the stairs, the lobby bar is behind me. We have in front of us here is the entrance, or I think one of the entrances to the theater. So on the ground here, you can see some social distancing um, decals and stickers indicating if you're lining up waiting to get in the theater, just to stay distant, socially distant from the group in front of you. And then there's a hand sanitizer station here to go to sanitize your hands before going inside the theater. I'm gonna just show you one thing before we go in the theater. Just over here to the right, this is the teens club which is something I haven't really seen at too many resorts. They're usually pretty popular on uh, cruise ships, but um, as you can see, they have all kinds of cool games. So they have like a virtual reality. It just changed there. Um, they have like soccer, basketball, tennis, um, bike tours. And there's another example of some of the precautions they're taking to kind of keep flow of traffic, enter and exit doors. Okay, so we're back at the theater door here. There's a TV that's not turned on at the moment, but here it is here. Uh, that's probably gonna let you know what shows are playing during the week and what shows playing this evening. And if we go inside here, it's very dark in here right now, so there's not too much really we can see. They do put chairs out in sort of like pods or groups. So we have like a group of two there, three, four, five kind of thing, and then there's space in between them. So yeah, so we went to some of the shows. They actually are really, really good. So if you're thinking of like, you know, some what to do for nightly entertainment, that's a really good option is to, to jump in and uh, take a look at some of the shows that are taking place at the resort. Okay, so I'm back in the lobby right now. And um, so the lobby is right here behind me. And here's the thing that you can do now. So as soon as you walk out of these like open or these closed spaces or the lobby areas, it's like kind of quote unquote indoor areas, you can remove your mask then as long as you're able to maintain social distancing. But if it's an area where you're kind of closed and congested, like perhaps waiting in line at the bar, they do encourage you to put your mask back on. So I've taken my mask off for a bit just to get a little fresh air and it's beautiful fresh air. This is so, so nice this morning. It's like 27 degrees and there's just this tiny little wind that's really, really nice and refreshing. So I wanna show you guys what I'm looking at right now. This is absolutely gorgeous. So we have, um, again, where we just visited, this is the lobby bar, teens club and the theater over here. And then you can see all kinds of really, really nice seating areas here, very cushiony. This is all brand new, freshly renovated, freshly decorated, um, furniture so everything is in tip-top shape but it just looks absolutely spectacular at this resort after their refurbishment in I think it was they opened up in October or November of 2020 so while you're walking around here you know I'll put some night shots in here what this looks like as well and as you can see from the night shots it looks spectacular in the lighting and then when you're walking around, you might get one of these little guys. This is an agouti, which is a native animal here to the Mayan Riviera in Mexico. And there he goes, he's going to find some breakfast. <laughs> and you'll see a lot of these guys running around. Um, they don't bug guests, they're not aggressive at all. They're totally, totally passive. So if you walk up to it, it'll probably run away from you, so you don't have to worry about that. Here's the pools, looking big. Lots of uh, space in here as well. It's not too deep. It says it's about one meter and 1.35 meters. As we wrap around this way, you can see this big structure here in the middle. I just want to say, like, this sunrise over here right now is looking spectacular. It's about 7.30 in the morning, and I can just see the sun starting to peak up over top of the, uh, over top of the horizon. Over here, just kind of pointing out a little bit, there's a uh, more spot to sit as we kind of wrap around this way. There's some more spots with some pergolas and some shade up here too, all around here. And just in case you're wondering what some of these buildings are, we're gonna get to them, but here's the lobby. If you walk all the way around this way, you'll pass the shop and some bathrooms, all the way to the main buffet area over here. Let's take a look over here at the lobby bar. This was where this busy, busy place. 
during the uh, during the day. So here's the lobby bar. There's some more social distancing indicators on the ground to keep you safe. And you'll see that well, some people will follow those and be very respectful. But the hotel is doing their best to try to enforce it. You know, it's the guests that come that have to respect the guidelines. So, you know, please be respectful if you do come and uh, help keep everyone safe and make everyone feel comfortable on their vacation. So there's a, a look at the other pool here close to the bottom or close to the back of the resort and the ocean just back here too where the beach is. So we're gonna go check out that next. Okay, so now I'm just to the left side of the lobby bar here. It's like a little jacuzzi here or something. Um, I think you'd probably swim underneath here, this bridge I'm standing on, and come out the other side. So it looks like almost all these pools are connected. Very, very close. They're very big pools. I think this one may not be connected over here. But walking across these bridges, this is, I just love this resort. I love this kind of style where it's like big and open and there's lots of lots of like lush vegetation around look at that picture Mona just took Ooh, pretty it's always a little bit of a trick trying to find the path to get to the beach because it is such a big resort but if we go this way looking good so far oh no nope. oh here I think yeah you can go this way Mona and I are going to break the rules here because it's just a tiny little patch of grass here. But oh my gosh, this sunrise right now. It's like the sun is just peeking out over top of the clouds. So, the beach. Now, I'm going to warn you guys about the beach here. It is quite windy. Um, the winds were much stronger, but just out front of the resort right here, I'd recommend not swimming just because there is reefs and rocks, as you can see, just kind of poking up in the water right here. Again, I can't, get, I can't get over that sunrise there. I have to stop to take a picture. All right, I'll put that picture in so you guys can see it. So you can see my photography skills or perhaps lack thereof. Comment down below if you like that picture I just took of the sunrise or if you have any suggestions for me for my photography. I'm trying to get better. Pictures, so let me know if there's anything I can do to make it a little better in the comments. So again, uh, the, pool, the beach area, what we have is again, in front of the pool area here, there's not too much area for swimming just because of the waves and the surf and then some of the rocks. So you wouldn't want to go there. However, if you walk down right here and that's where you can swim, that actually is still part of the resort. And there are some villas, as you can see, just up in this area. So there is some area to swim just in this lagoony area here, which there's still waves. So you still have to kind of be mindful of how well of a swimmer you are. Now, wrapping further down along here, we have, um, but here, but here residences, which is a totally different kind of uh, separate place from the resort. And then over here, we have Bahia Principe Luxury Akumal. Okay, so that's the different resort. I don't think, I don't know for sure, but I don't think Tulum guests are able to visit the luxury, but the luxury uh, Akumal guests are able to come to Tulum to visit, use the pools and, and uh, eat at the buffets. Okay. Hey, on our way back up to the pool, we found a little critter. It's like a little crab. Look how cute he is. What do you want to say on your YouTube debut? This, make sure you hit the thumbs up button for this little crab guy. He's going on his little adventure for his breakfast. What I want to show you guys is a couple of little things here at the pool area. So um, just behind me here, there's a like scuba kind of excursion party boat. This is scuba aquatic essentially here, but also this is a spot where you can exchange your towels for a fresh one. So um, they go on a card system. So you'll get a card when you check in, almost look like a little credit card. looks like your room key essentially. And you would give them that. And if you want a fresh towel, um, you can just hand in your used towel and take a fresh towel or hand in your used towel and get your card back. And it's much easier to take back to your room. Most resorts do that. So the pool huts here. One other thing to mention before we head down to the other parts of the resort, there's like a spot where you can shower or rinse off your feet for the, all the sand that might be on your feet from the beach. And then over here, just down these steps would be Bahia Spa. So if you booked a treatment or a massage, you'd come down here to get your treatment done. So there's nice like little areas that you can kind of wait for your treatment. It's very peaceful here with the running water and really nice music. Over this way, there's like two loungers and a private little spa pool there. Ooh, so nice. So one thing I want to point out, when we came to this resort, so we're staying at Akumal actually, and we wanted to find the Hindu restaurant, the Indian restaurant. This sign here shows the Hindu restaurant is down here. And we thought it was this. So we went in the spa looking for the Indian restaurant. That marker should actually be kind of like facing this way with this little marker here pointing towards the buffet Yucatan, which is just down here. 
But if you want to get to the Indian restaurant, I'll show you how to get there. But it is down through the buffet, all the way through the buffet to the back, and there's a Hindu restaurant tucked in the back there. So we'll go take a look at that in a few minutes. Okay, so I'm back in the lobby, but one thing I want to point out to you guys and show you is just beside this sanitizing station, there's a, uh, a little computer screen where you can kind of operate. So you can click here, I think you just click this little button, there we go, and it tells you all the different things that are happening. They also have a web app that you can access as well with all this information too. So you can take a look at things that are occurring in the theater or the lobby bar perhaps tonight. Um, COVID protocols as well. You can do restaurant reservations. But again, like I said, this is also on the on the app as well. So the entrance to the pool area is right here. That's where we just were. We're gonna head to the left here to check out the buffets. Now I'm gonna try to say this. Mona was telling me how to say this last night, but in here is a little lounge. So this is called the tequilaria. I think you can buy and drink tequilas, which there's lots of different kind of tequilas. And then just to the, uh, before we enter the area towards the buffet, there's an ATM machine where you can take out um, money as well. So this is the tequilaria. Uh, it's not open at the moment. It's moving along here, just to the left of the tequilaria, we have a bathroom here too. And then a hallway that takes us out to the buffet. So just to the right side of the washrooms here in Tequilaria, there's a staircase. This doesn't really go up to anything super important. It's just the, um, for guests, I mean, it's just, the, it's the hotel administration and offices upstairs. Down here, we have um, access to different parts of the resort. So if we go down these stairs, I think this is where you may meet your uh, hotel representative. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So this is where if you booked a resort, um, package through like an airline or a travel provider. This is where they would be sitting in here to um, talk to them to book any excursions or any tours or anything like that or help you with your check-in for your airline or any of those kind of things that are related to your vacation package. So again there's the staircase leading down to the travel representatives and here's the shop lobby. So again it's a little bit tough to see in here right now. I think as we come back this will be open so I'll show you guys what it looks like inside. As you can see in the window here, there's souvenirs, um, there's sunscreen, medication, like over-the-counter medication, uh, water shoes, which is really important, snorkels, all kinds of good stuff to help kind of make your vacation better, or in case you forgot anything. So just to the right of us, this was the towel hut. As you come down the path here, it joins up with the path from the lobby, and you get really, really nice sunrises right here. There's some really nice kind of furniture here. Ooh, look at that, it's very flowy. And then just behind us from the, uh, the cool furniture <laughs> is uh, more washrooms as well. Continuing our journey along here, this is going to take us to Yucatan, which is the main buffet. And at nighttime, this is all lit up really, really nicely. As we look over to the left, this is one of our a la carte restaurants uh, called Don Pablo. Don Pablo is a gourmet restaurant and it's located just, just down here. Just look at this like entrance. They definitely go the extra mile to kind of make things look really, really nice. So walking in the buffet here, as you can see, enter and exit lines as well. Um, there's gonna be a foot mat here as well to kind of catch any extra debris off your shoes. Can I Sure. Thank you. Okay, so this is the Yucatan buffet. It's a massive, massive room. And the servers here are absolutely magnificent. They'll help you get anything you need. And there's a really nice fountain in the middle too with natural light, as you can see, kind of coming in here. All right, so I'm, inside here is where the actual buffet is. I'll just give you a little sneak peek because we're gonna do a full tour of that um, as well. So I'll link that down in the description so you can see that. This is where the door to um, out to the villas are going to be and also to the Hindu in, in the Indian restaurant. So this is where you would line up for the Hindu restaurant right here, which is called Tali. And again, it's not open right now, obviously, but um, this is like a little sneak peek of what it would look like inside. All right, so we're gonna move away from the main lobby area. And they always have these little placards kind of scattered through the resort to let you know where everything is. So we're gonna head to the left here, which is going to be Villas 36 to 46. Oh, again, another placard showing us where we're going and another placard. So if we walk this way. So as you can see, this is sort of like the living areas of, one of the living areas of the resorts and they've got lots of vegetation. But the one thing we noticed about this one in comparison to the luxury Akumal is a lot of the plants are like very new because this resort was just renovated. So they've just planted a lot of the stuff here. I think it just, honestly, it needs like some time to mature and then it'll be quite luscious, just like the, uh, 
Well, like, so I'm gonna say luscious. It's, I think the word is lush, but it's gonna look lush just like the Akumal. So if we walk this way, so this is the pathway we just came from right here leading down to the main buffet. If we walk this way, we're gonna get to the gymnasium and there's these little bus shelters as well that the trains stop at. So you can easily get a train back to your room or to the buffet or even take one to the Hacienda. Aha, we have found it. <laughs> I think the best way to get to the gym, as I can see now, this is the main lobby area, like literally the lobby's right here. Um, and then we have, oh, we have Nagudi crossing the road. He's so cute, looking for his breakfast. He's so gentle, look at their little paws. <laughs> and then this is the walkway to get over to the buffet. So there's a staircase that was going to the reps. You can come down and walk over this way. And then the gymnasium is located right here. So I'm not gonna go in, but I can see that they have all kinds of different treadmills and ellipticals and cardio equipment. And also some free weights too to do some strength training too. So that's where the gym is. Okay, so this is where we came from. Oh, it's very bright. This is where we came from, from the buffet. So this is where we came from, from the uh, gym just down there. And if we rotate all the way around here and start walking down this path, this is gonna take us to more living areas. And then the pool that's on sort of the, I guess if you're looking from the sea, the right side of the hotel. So this is what the villas look like after the big renovation. Um, as you can see, they're very modern looking with stone and like kind of like a wooden teak look to the doors and the staircases. Look at the balconies too, look beautiful. They have like glass too. So there's another villa here. And just as you can see, like the gardens just need to fill in, but the plants are all there. They just need time to grow. And then this, this uh, resort's gonna look really lush. So we've kind of wormed our way through some of the pathways here in the villas. And we're just guessing, but we're hoping this pathway in front of us here leads to the pool area. So this is going to be the pool area. Another thing that's located down here is the tequila restaurant, the Mexican themed a la carte. There's also a really beautiful gazebo here. And it looks like this is what they would use for weddings at the, at the complex. There's a gorgeous gazebo, beautiful flowers, and then this really nice love kind of uh, decoration as well. Can you picture yourself getting married right here? Looking out over the ocean and then the sunrise right here too. And as we walk around this way, this will be the entrance for tequila. And this is the Mexican themed a la carte restaurant. And then over here, it looks like they have additional outdoor seating for tequila. And I'm sure they use this as sort of overflow um, I don't know about snack bar, but it looks like they use it for overflow for tequila. So now this is where the pool is going to be. We wrap ourselves around this pathway. It's a very big resort, very, very big resort. Easy to get lost. And that's why they have these maps. So what Mona and I did was um, at our home resort and this one here, because we just snapped a picture of this on our phones and then it tells you where everything is. And this pool, this pool, is luxurious. Look at these little sunbeds. Got little pillows, some shade. So there's a lobby bar, or sorry, a pool bar just up here. But the water in the pool, it's actually really nice. It's really, really gorgeous. I don't think they heat their pool, so they rely on like sunlight and like the outdoor heat. But right now it's actually really warm. And if we go this way, you can see the final beach. So let's head out and take a look at the beach outside of the, I guess if you're looking from the beach or the sea, it's the right side of the resort. So tequila is right here. The pool is just behind me. And at the moment, there is a worker just raking up some of the seaweed that washes up on shore here. But it's gorgeous here. This is really nice. Really nice to kind of hang out on the beach, but just be careful if you're swimming. It does seem a little bit, I wouldn't say dangerous, but just be careful because if you're not a strong swimmer, you know, you could be uh, at risk. And the ocean is gorgeous today. Woo! So Mona just pointed this out. There he is. I'm not gonna get any more closer, but I can zoom in my lens and get really close to him. Look at this guy. Whoa, there's lots of these little uh, reptiles hanging out at the resort. They typically don't bother you though. Like they'll just do their own thing. He's just getting some sleep before he heads out into the sun for today. And they always advise you don't feed any of the animals at the resort just because it's not anything we eat is not part of their regular diet. 
so it could harm them if you f feed them any human food. So we are back at the lobby and we're gonna head down this way, same place we went to sort of go to the theater, but we're gonna head to the, if you're looking from the lobby, the right side of the hotel now and show you the swimming pool and the food truck, which is a really cool place. So it's gonna be down this, this way right here. All right, so lobby is behind us. The uh, lobby bar is right here where we were earlier. This is the theater and the teen club. And then down this way is pathways to more villas. So um, lots of house, uh, lots of villas over this way. And then within the villas, there's actually not too much to see other than, you know, your room. So we're gonna take sort of a left towards the pool and the food truck and then show you the last little bits there and then that'll be it. We're just walking along the path. We're almost at the pool bar here in the truck. But this is sort of what I was talking about, about the resort not fully being finished yet and just kind of needing to mature a bit. So this area right here is um, it's kind of just dirt gravelly, but like eventually I'm, I'm assuming this is gonna be like a big garden or grass, but it looks like they still have just a few finishing touches to do, but it doesn't take away from the experience at all, that's for sure. And here we are at the truck. So this is, ooh, nice shot. So this is the truck, which is a uh, small little, uh, I wouldn't call it a small snack bar, I'd call it quite a big snack bar that's by the pool here, right? And like people come from all the other Bahia Principes just to come to the truck because it's really cool and modern and brand new. So we were at the truck yesterday. So I'll show you guys kind of what we had. Flashback. So we have arrived. Oh, I see. There it is. A truck like this. They have burritos, nachos, quesadillas, and tacos. Oh, cool. So you just actually order. So you order what you want off the menu, tell them. They'll give you a number, and when your number is called, you can come pick up your stuff. That's cool. Alright, here's what we got from the, the truck. Chips, pico de gallo. We got a, two cheese quesadillas. A few french fries, and then some tacos. And we're just hanging out. Oceanside. End of flashback. Really, really nice place to hang out. So again, just off of the uh, the truck, we have another beach area here. But again, this is gonna be similar to what I showed you guys before, where it's like very, very wavy and maybe not the best place to, to hang out and to swim in, especially if you're not a super strong swimmer. But I hope if you guys choose to come, it's not as wavy and not as windy like this. And it's nice and calm and you get to totally enjoy it. But this is where I was standing before when I showed you guys last time just over here and then all the way this way is the chairs that I just mentioned are right here and if you keep following us around it'll take you to um, the luxury Akumal Bahia Principe. The beach is behind me, the food truck or the truck is right here and we're at our next pool right here. Just to the left of me and in between me and the water is a nice little area for massages. They have a spa here that's connected to the Bahia spa. Here we have a nice pool, lots of chairs, We've got some music pumping already. Lots of staff around to make sure everything is all ready for the day. Already some guests coming in to find their spots for the day as well. We've got lots of shade from the umbrellas here. And then a big pool to swim in. This one is, again, 1.35 meters, so not too deep. So the pool is here and just behind the pool, back towards where the villas are. This would be where the like splash pad is for the kids. And if you're staying at um, Bahia Principe Akumal, you can bring your kids over here and they can enjoy this splash pad, which looks like a lot of fun. Tons of water spraying everywhere and lots of slides to go down. I think kids would have a wonderful time in here. And a really big slide right here. And then just behind that is a uh, the kids club where you can, uh, have your have one of the staff here at the Bahir Principe watch over your kids. Hola, <laughs> they're waving to me in there, blowing me kisses. And then here, there's another splash pad with the uh, scuba aquatica where you can change your towels right here, and then a beach shop right here as well. Yeah. So if you want, you can uh, buy some stuff from the shop here at the uh, at the pool, and they have all kinds of cool floaties and stuff. There's float in the water. They have like beach bags and like bathing suits and flip-flops and sunglasses. Okay, so from the uh, splash pad area there, if we go this way, this is gonna lead to a snack bar. 
and the last a la carte restaurant called La Gran Tortuga, which is a Brazilian restaurant where they kind of bring meat to your table and cut it right at your table. So one thing, uh, one of the security guards just came up to us and asked us if we can kind of just respect and do our little part here because what, what they're noticing is people are taking food from the snack bar and bringing it in the pool area. That's attracting a lot of wildlife and birds and they're making a mess. So what they're just recommending doing is if you grab some food, either just eat it in the snack bar over here or hang out at these picnic tables. Finish your dinner or finish your lunch and then you can head back into the pool area. We can see there's Andale Burger and you can grab some, uh, some probably just some fast food stuff here at Andale Burger. We didn't get a chance to go here but it looks good and I've heard some good things about it as well. And you can grab your stuff and have a seat here or at any of these picnic tables. And it comes around the other side here to La Gran Tortuga. And this is the Brazilian restaurant. I'm actually going to take a look inside here because it's open. So at the moment, oh, this is really nice. Oh, I see. So this looks like it's a it looks like it's a breakfast bar during the mornings. So people can grab breakfast around this side of the resort. They don't have to go all the way to the buffet. It's all kinds of good stuff here. And then wrapping around the other side, there's some more food there. I don't want to disturb anyone in their breakfast, so I'm going to just head out here. But yes, yeah, so La Gran Tortuga, the Brazilian restaurant, opens up for a breakfast buffet in the mornings. All right, so we're sort of on the beach here now, just uh, in front of that last pool we were just visiting and the Brazilian restaurant La Gran Tortuga. But that's going to bring an end to our tour here at the uh, Bahia Principe Grand Tulum. So I would certainly recommend this resort. This is like one of the newest Bahia Principes that you can actually go to in, I don't know if in the world perhaps, definitely in the Caribbean. It literally just finished and reopened last November in 2020. And it really, really impresses, that's for sure. The architecture is amazing. The food is good. The service is phenomenal. Uh, yeah, no, it's, it's really spectacular. So definitely check this resort out. Definitely give it like two, three, four more thumbs up. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys uh, liked the video, um, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to find out where we're we going next.